final from Assembly Hall, Indiana 81, Merrimack 49. The Hoosiers moved to 8-2 on the season. Jack Edwards here with the Hoosier Network after Indiana recorded a very good win against a mid-major side to kind of bounce back after a very tough defeat away at Wisconsin in the midweek on Wednesday. Kind of give my three takeaways and a bit of a recap of the game. Starting things off after a season low nine points against Wisconsin. Trey Jackson Davis responded with a 16.9 rebound performance. Didn't need to be the most important guy for the Hoosiers as well as Race Thompson having a nice day as well. 14 points for him, the second leading scorer. One of the big things was for getting them to have a better showing against the zone, against that Merrimack showed against Syracuse that posed a few problems for them earlier on in the season, kind of getting a chance to get a second try at that, learn a bit more against that 2-3 zone that Merrimack employed. Third leading scorer for the Hoosiers, Jordan Geronimo, had 13 points and 13 rebounds, a really good showing off the bench from the sophomore. Five of those rebounds were on the offensive end of things, giving Indiana a lot of second chance points. They dominated the boards, 54 to 16. They beat the Merrimack in that margin. Now the point guard debate is not going to end. Xavier Johnson had a bit of a tough end to the match against Wisconsin, had really improved in this one. Nine points, four assists to go with just three turnovers. Uh, a good showing altogether from him. He seemed to have much more control, aggression on his um, certain drive, certain moves. Really seemed like there was a lot of improvement from Wisconsin. Remains to be seen how that maintains over the rest of the season. The big player, though, that made a, a, probably one of the biggest rounds of applause in Assembly Hall was when Christian Lander made his appearance off the bench, replacing Rob Finnessy with seven minutes to go. In those seven minutes, though, not a ton to show for it. Two fouls, two turnovers, and a lone rebound, but no shots, no assists elsewhere there. So a bit of a tough showing for the sophomore. Continues to be one of the biggest question marks for Mike Woodson on how he wants to utilize Christian Lander heading forward this season. Indiana handled their business against Merrimack, moving to 8-2 on the season after the 81-49 victory. Up next for them, they play Notre Dame in the Crossroads Classic up in Indianapolis. I've been Jack Edwards. I'll be on site for Notre Dame, so make sure to follow myself in the Hoosier Network for all your updates all season long. We're at our final from Assembly Hall, Indiana 81, Merrimack 49.